And for more on that, we're going to head down to the field. Brett Dolan will be on the sidelines in the broadcast tonight. And, and Brett, you, you talked a little bit about this pitching group. And I mentioned it wasn't just the starters. Everyone is doing their part. Boy, they certainly are, Julia. Since May 1st, this club has played very good baseball. In fact, they're eight games above 500. It's no coincidence the bullpen during that stretch has been fantastic. A 2.34 earn run average. That is the best in the American League. Now, yesterday, the most recent hero was Chris Davinsky. Three and a third scoreless innings of relief as he got the save. And Davinsky says it's really everybody top to bottom in that bullpen that has contributed to their success feel like a lot of the guys in that bullpen are kind of feeding off each other oh of course you know we got we got great arms down there you know one through eight can can do anything at any time seems like staff rhythm can be dangerous one guy goes out and has a good performance the next guy wants to equal it or better it and before you know it you put together a good week or a couple of weeks or maybe even a month yes you know it's a competition basically you know we're all competing with each other kind of you know feeding off it like you said and you know we're just trying to keep it rolling also seems like nobody has a defined role right now, and sometimes that works out well. You haven't pitched in 10 days, and you came out yesterday and provided three strong innings. Yeah, you know, just uh, when, when, the bell, when the bell rings, you know, I go out there and do it for my team. Is there the belief if, if the bullpen has a good night, if you guys can put up zeros, that this offense will find a way some way somehow, even if it's in the 10th, the 11th, or 12th inning to get runs to win games? Of course, yeah. We're looking to win, you know, any way possible. If it's extras, you know, we could do it there. You know, if, uh, if not, we're, we come out aggressive. We do what we got to do. Yeah, so many complete appearances really over the course of uh, this last month plus one run games extra inning games and what that's forced this bullpen to do is have a lot of guys throw a lot of appearances. A.J. Hinch said I've got multiple guys with 30 plus appearances and the all star break is still several weeks away. So he said his most ideal game is when he can get a win and use as few of pitchers as possible. So yesterday certainly fit that bill with Davinsky the only guy in relief able to get the combined shut up back to you guys. Thank you so much, Brett. Yeah, so much truth in that. And what is Last minute autographs here at Minute Maid Park. That's a worthy piece. Jose Altuve signing. So is Carlos Correa before this team opens up a three game series against the Angels of Anaheim. Again, I'm Brett Dolan down in the field, and so much attention has been focused on the lineup, especially after George Springer was inserted as the leadoff hitter. Jose Altuve moved to the number three spot and the success that has followed. But in recent games and certainly yesterday, there's been a lot of contributions six through nine yesterday. In fact, six hits, four RBIs and four runs from the bottom four hitters. Evan Gaddis, what a way to break out of an 0 for 20 homered in back to back games. Speaking of long balls, how about Luis Valbuena hitting one into the right field bleachers? Even Danny Worth, he's contributed since his call up. And Jake Marisnik, he was convinced this ball was going to be caught. He ends up with the double. And what a contribution again from the five through nine hitters at all with those eight hits, four runs, and five RBIs. Part of an Astros lineup that started to kickstart things here as of late. And A.J. Hinch said before the game that, you know, there were some times during this year where if the top three hitters, with Altuve, Springer, and Correa did not produce. It felt like it might take a couple of innings before you had a chance to get. Now he feels like this team could score really at any inning. And the exciting part is with Gaddis and Valbuena at the bottom, those are some hitters that have middle of the order experience. Astros and Angels coming up. Bill Brown and Alan Ashby will have the call when you come back to Minute Maid Park. Altuve hitting a bomb. How about Carlos Correa? He hit another one, and he is on the field right now with Brett Dolan. Correa had two of the 15 hits, one of the three home runs tonight for the Houston Astros, and Carlos, it seemed like a fun night to hit for everybody in this lineup. Yeah, it was a great day. Uh, we put great at-bats together. We were able to score a lot of runs for our pitcher in order to get the win. Tell me about your home run in the sixth inning. It was one of those no-doubters. Yeah, it was a hanging changeup. I saw it pretty well. I put a good swing on it. Now, Doug Fister has been amazing. His last 10 starts, the club has won each and every one of those games. What is it like to play behind a guy that's been that consistent and that good? Well, it's really fun to play behind him. Uh, he wore Works really fast. Uh, he throws strikes. Uh, you know, he's a sinker baller, so you're gonna get some ground balls in that game. So you're always involved in every single pitch. So it's always fun to play behind him. Carlos Correa, one of the heroes tonight, with a home run and a couple of hits. Guys, back to you. Thank you so much, Brett Dolan and Carlos Correa. I'm Julie.
for him. Yes, definitely. All right, we're going to go down to Brett Dolan, who's been working his way around the Astros clubhouse today. And this team, I, I know we thought it when we looked at this homestand, Reds, Angels. This is a good opportunity for this team to inch closer to that 500 mark we've talked about already during the show. These guys have to be feeling pretty good about the way they've been playing, Brett. Yeah, there's no doubt, Julia. In fact, they've inched their way back towards what A.J. Hinch calls the big 500 mark. The only time they've been break even this year was one and one. The last time they've been this close, they were three and four. So it's been quite some time, and they've played very good baseball over the last month. But Colby Rasmus has a way of cutting right to the chase, and he said maybe over the first month plus, this club just didn't feel like they experienced a lot of luck. Early on, I mean, we just were kind of snake bit. We hit a lot of balls hard at guys, and we ran into some good pitching. And and when we needed those timely hits, you know, come up and uh, it'd be a line drive at somebody or somebody make a great play. But tonight we were able to kind of punch those through. And then, uh, you know, we had some good good at bats in the, in the Red Series. And then tomorrow, you know, hey, we got Santiago, so I'm sure we're going to load up the lineup with righties and and uh, hopefully we can do the same thing. You talk about it at all that now it's time to kind of make a little bit of a run. Uh, no, that's not really I mean, something you come out and say, you know, because that can, there's always that, that voodoo, uh, you know, that, that could work the opposite way. Just kind of let it come as it, as it is, and hopefully that will, uh, that'll just happen for us, you know. Voodoo was the term that Colby Rasmus used talking about a winning streak or maybe approaching 500. A.J. Hinch, in fact, had little to say about getting to the 500 mark. His goals are much beyond just getting to that break-even point. He admitted he may not even look at the standings until around the All-Star break when he has three or four days where he has nothing to do. And he says being in first place today or second place has little satisfaction. He wants to have that conversation in October. But Julie and Mike, if we're still talking in October, we're going to look back to this stretch as what really kick-started this 20. 16 season for the Houston Astros. That's absolutely true. Thank you so much, Brett, and have a great broadcast tonight. It's turned out to be a beautiful night in downtown Houston. Hot, yes, much like the ball club as tonight the Houston Astros try and win game two of a three game set against the LA Angels of Anaheim and win the series. Again, I'm Brett Dolan down in the field here at Minute Maid Park. Last night we talked about the contributions in the lineup five through nine. Really the last two games those numbers have been off the charts. We know what George Springer has done batting leadoff and Jose Altuve has continued an amazing season batting third. Another component though of this lineup shuffling has to be Marwin Gonzalez batting second and Carlos Correa batting fourth as we take a closer look at our Toyota Tundra playing to win and Marwin you see his numbers in the last 10 games a 378 average he scored seven runs A.J. Hinch had an interesting thought maybe Marwin is a switch hitter can just change a pitcher's sight line it's not all right handed batters against right handed pitchers as a pull hitter batting lefty he gives a, a big hole on the right side to shoot for him. George Springer is on first base and Carlos Correa well he has continued to put up big numbers look what he's done in the last six games hit a couple of home runs he's also taken his walks A.J. Hinch said he's hunting some RBIs as well in that cleanup spot and feels like he's dialed up his aggressiveness on the first pitches of at bats and he called that welcomed. We'll see if Correa can do that tonight. Correa and Gonzalez and the Houston Astros ready to take on the L.A. Angels of Anaheim. Bill Brown and Alan Ashby will have the call when you come back to Minute Maid Park. Here from Carlos Correa, he is with Brett Dolan. Carlos Correa for the second straight night. We're making a pretty good team. This was a fun way to win a game. Oh yeah, it was a great way. Uh, the guys did a really good job to get on base, and I was able to deliver. Take me through that sequence in the ninth inning. It didn't look like he wanted to throw you a fastball, and you worked it to that 3-2 count. Yeah, I mean, uh, he throws a lot of sliders. I, I knew that in the scouting report. Uh, he threw me a pretty good one. I swung and missed. And he threw me a fastball down and away. It was a good spot. And then 3-2, I, I thought he was going to throw a slider. He threw me a fastball. I was able to react. This team found ways to lose games early on. They're finding ways to win games now. When did this turn, and what does it feel like now that it has? Well, the atmosphere in the clubhouse is, is different. We, we want to win. We want to be able to go out there, uh, play hard every single day, and, you know, uh, bring the W home. So we're playing really good baseball right now. Hopefully we can stay consistent. Hey, you're nothing if not uh, assertive because you wanted to make sure that celebration didn't take place until the two runs scored and you touched first base. That's right. That's right. I touched first base and second base. Make sure it was a double. Great job. <laughs> All right. Thank you. That's Carlos Correa, the hero again today.
for more on this, we're going to go down onto the field. Brett Dolan, who will be a part of the broadcast crew this afternoon. Brett, uh, like the team, Lance McCullers has to feel like things are trending up for him. I think that is correct, Julia. You mentioned his eighth start. Now, in his last seven, he's given up more than three runs just once. But these pitchers, they're perfectionists, and Lance explains what he wants to keep working on going forward. Just continue to gain confidence, you know, and and, and, and pitching, you know, to, you know, slow start to the season as far as my injury go, and then you know, come back and be dealing with a couple of things mechanic wise. So, I'm just looking forward to you know, keep keep pitching, you know, keep trying to uh, you know pitch well. So that's all I can do. Are you a patient guy? Are you able to stay patient when everyone says you know it's going to take a little time to get back when you were on the DL and now kind of work your way into where you can do whatever you want to do out there in the mound? Uh, I wouldn't say I'm too patient, but you know I'm, I'm making the adjustments. I'm, I'm trying to make the adjustments that I need to make to be you know more successful and tell the team win. So you know I have a lot of days in between my starts to uh, you know make those adjustments, and that's what I kind of focus on. Every pitcher wants to, wants to get off to a good start with his outing. How important are those first couple of innings for you when you come on to that start? I think I'm only giving up. I one or two runs after the third inning all year, so um, you know my struggles have been in the, in the first two innings. So that's when I, you know, got to bear down. Last game was a step forward, um, got through the first two innings. Um, you know, one went real smooth. The other one I had to work on, work around a little bit of trouble, um, lead off triple. But um, I feel good, and I'm going to go out there and be, be aggressive early. Well, Lance has obviously pitched extremely well at home in his career and earned run average barely above two runs a game. But really, this entire rotation has been good. Seven straight starts through the rotation without giving up more than two runs. It goes back to an outing Dallas Keuchel had at Tampa Bay where he gave up five. They all came in one inning with some help with the defense uh, behind him. But you look at what has taken place over this last month, very good bullpen pitching. Obviously, the lineup has been more balanced, but Lance McCullers would like to give this rotation another nice boost with the eighth straight quality start. We'll see if he can do that here this afternoon. Julia, Mike. That's where it all starts. I'm Brett Dolan back at Minute Maid Park. Lance McCuller is again on the hill. He's made 14 career starts here at Minute Maid Park. He's given up three runs or less in every single outing. His earned run average here in this ballpark, 2.05. So it brings us to our pitching matchup today, powered by Kubota. And Lance McCullers has simply been fantastic in this building. You're going to see a lot of breaking balls, and this is his signature pitch, the slider and the swings and misses. He's had a few struggles in the first two innings this year. He's very much aware of how good he has been from the third inning on. But he claims he really isn't doing much differently. His manager, A.J. Hinch, smiled when I asked him that question. He thinks Lance has maybe tried to establish his fastball more early before leaning heavily on that slider late in the game. That slider is so good, though, it's hard not to throw it. But as we bring in Bill Brown and Alan Ashby, we'll see if McCullers can command that fastball early and often against the Angels to give his team maybe another quality start, guys. That's right, Brad. It's a real key for him to throw the fastball. Gonzalez with the triple to score the go-ahead run, crushed it onto Tal's heel. Let's hear what he had to say. He's down with Brett Dolan right now. Another night, another hero. Today it's Marwin Gonzalez. He had the triple in the eighth inning that put the Astros ahead for good. Watching the replay, it looked like you weren't sure if you had enough to get it over Robinson's head. Well, uh, <laughs> definitely. I, uh, um, uh, that's all. I, uh, that's all I had. Like uh, I, hit, I hit a ball good uh, on, the, on the last bat, the, the bat before, and uh, he, he caught it. So he, and he was pretty close on that one. So I was just hoping to, to uh, for the ball to fall. You seem like you like that two hole in the lineup. Well, for me, it doesn't matter. I just, uh, I just want to play and uh, help the team, whatever, uh, whatever I can. And uh, as, uh, um, if I'm in the line, or I'm, I'm happy. Series sweep, five straight wins. Is this the best this team has played all year? Well, yeah. I think uh, everybody's doing their thing. Uh, we having, uh, we're living a good moment right now, and um, uh, we have to keep going and uh, um, go to the road trip and get, and get some wins. That's just it. Is this the type of momentum that can be carried over to the road trip, and not only that, but beyond? Yeah, I think def definitely it's, uh, that's what we need, and uh, hopefully yeah, we, can, uh, we can keep doing it. Congratulations on the win. Thank you. That's Marwin Gonzalez, another one-run win here at Minute Maid Park. <laughs> Welcome out to the Crawford Boxes, Julie.